Hi, Air Science, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So, today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you're still holding on to your, um, your person here. Okay, why is it that you can't let go and move on from them? Why can't you release them? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, take a look, and let's see what messages come in for you here. Bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles, and I feel like for a lot of you, this person made you feel very safe, very comfortable, very secure, very stable, and you haven't had that. You, you might have never had that, or you haven't necessarily felt this way in a long time with a person. They've created such a safe space for you where you could truly be yourself, and it's hard for you to let go of that. All right, the camera's playing up. Bear with me. Okay, um. I feel like for a lot of you, you're not ready, okay, with the Four of uh, Cups energy, I feel like you're, you're telling yourself you want to move forward or you want to let go, but I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready to release them. I don't think you're ready to let go of what you guys had with each other and what you've built up. Um, there may have been someone else that has come in between the way, in the way of your connection here, therefore making this separation or making this disconnection involuntary, okay, so it's not like... It may have been another person, it may have been something else, like their, drug, um, their I don't know, habitual addictions or their patterns, their behavior here, okay? Um, it may have been something that I feel like has kind of got, has wedged itself between you and this person. It's created the separation. So it wasn't like it was your choice to move on from this person. Um, it's almost like you find yourself having to drag yourself away from this energy or this person purely because... It wasn't healthy. It just wasn't something here. Something here didn't necessarily go the way that you had envisioned it to be. Um, and with the Four of Cups energy, it just feels like you're not ready to move on from them. You're not ready to let go. And I don't think you've made up your mind to do so. I think. Once you make up your mind to do so, okay, you're governed by air energy here, mental energy. I feel like once you make up your mind, then there'll be no stopping you. Like wild horses weren't even be able to drag you away from this. But your mind's not made up, hence why you haven't been able to let them go. A part of you is still holding on because you want to hold on. Because you want to hold on to what the two of you had, to what the two of you built. And truth be told you're just not ready and when, if you're not ready you're not ready people can come along and they can force you and they can offer you all the advice that you want but you're not in that space to do so not the emotional not the mental not the physical space a part of you is also expecting for this person to come back into your life okay and maybe that's because that's the dynamics of the connection that the two of you had set up with one another you'd guys you, you know you would pull apart only to come back together you'd fight only to make up together so a part of you i feel like is still you kind of sit or, sitting around and you're kind of expecting for them to come waltzing back into your life it feels a little bit different this time because it, with the hermit's energy i do feel like your sense of loneliness is being heightened okay i do feel like this person has disconnected from you and therefore you feel that much more isolated or alienated and you feel that much more lonelier here um 
if you are wanting to cut ties with this individual and if you are wanting to move on from this individual even though a part of you wants to stay in it but the other part of you you know is telling you that you should probably leave because maybe this is someone who isn't able to give you that commitment or that stability even though they made you feel very safe with them but at the end of the day you know they were maybe a very restless energy or non-committal type of energy or maybe you know they are capable of commitment but they just weren't ready for it maybe you guys you know are at two very different stages of your life and so I feel like if you are someone who does want to eventually cut ties with this energy and move on from them I do feel like you'll need to spend some time on your own okay you'll purposely right now try and stay intentionally single so that you can get to know yourself a little bit more okay get to know what you will and won't tolerate what you do or what you don't want because a lot of people they know what they don't want but when you ask them what do they want that's when they scr you know scratch their heads and they're not able to give you an answer so spend more time on your own what do you want you know what type of a relationship will you tolerate what won't you tolerate what are your expectations what are your intentions okay how high or how low is your bar set spend some time on your own be intentionally single so that you can get to know yourself a little bit more and once you put you know your expectations out there you're going to attract a partner who is then going to try and meet and match those expectations if you don't have an aiming point if you don't have any expectations well then neither will your you know partner or your romantic energy because how can you you know how do you expect to have someone who's going to come into your life and fulfill expectations that you don't quite have yourself so if you don't have an aiming point guess what you're not going to hit anything are you so you know i feel like in spending some time on your own as well you're going to get the answers from inside as well because maybe the two of you might be able to reconnect one day okay and by then you know spending some time on your own going through your own journey in solitude here will lead to a path of growth and transformation and maybe when you come back together again the both of you will be so much more you know aware so much more happier and healthier and so much more ready okay for all of this but in the meantime i feel like you need to spend some time on your own they need to spend some time on their own you each have your own journeys that you need to go um you know you need to embark on and also i feel like not having any contact or communication from them is going to make it that much more a little bit more easier okay it won't necessarily be completely easy to cut ties but it's going to be easier because you kind of have to kind of have to quit cold turkey here um because some of you i feel like you're still in in contact or you're still in touch you still communicate okay maybe not on a frequent basis but and i think that's what's helping you still stay attached or still stay connected to this person i feel like that's what's sort of making it hard for you to really move on from them so it's just that communication you know you guys still talk you guys still communicate or even if it's not communication maybe some of you are like spying on them on a social media platform what's that doing you know what how is that benefiting you especially if this is someone you want to cut ties with you know you're putting yourself through some unhealthy or negative emotions by doing that so cold turkey is the way to go and if you're not ready to do that just yet then don't force yourself because it's not going to work it's only going to backfire in the end um i also feel like with this person here there has been some things that they might have said or done to you which has hurt you okay which has uh, cut you like a knife it's they caused you a lot of pain here they've caused you they've caused a lot of turbulence in your relationship this inconsistent energy here this you know undecided kind of energy here this imbalance kind of energy but i think at the end of the day i think it's strengthening you all this pain I think it's inspiring growth and transformation in your energy and it's strengthening you here so everything that you're going through is preparing you for what's to come this pain is also keeping you attached to them so maybe there have been some things that they've said or done to you which I feel like you still haven't made peace with and you what will help you release them is confronting your own pain okay being very honest with yourself 
about the role that you played in the connection, about the role that they played in the connection and being really honest with yourself uh, and your emotions here. Because how can you move on from someone when you still love or care for them or when you still expect, you know, for them to come back into your life? You know, you can't. You can't move on from someone but still hold space in your life for this person. So it's like you need to decide, you know, whether you're in or out, whether you're ready to move on and cut ties or whether you just want to give this a little bit longer. Because once you make that decision, I feel like you will, you'll be able to take the necessary steps forward and move on and cut ties here. But in the end, I feel like everything that you're going through has definitely strengthened you and it's transforming you and it's leading you on your own personal, unique, you know, transformative journey. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.